Hey guys, Biomagic here, and I found some space on my computer, so I can record a few more episodes. Hooray! Hopefully we will take out Ludwig von Koopa this time. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use the frog suit, just because there's literally nothing else to use it on in the game. Boing! Boing! There's actually a uh, secret dialogue if you beat a, uh, wow, that sucks. There's actually secret dialogue if you beat a castle level. Uh, there's special dialogue for each of the uh, three special suits. So that's something neat. Maybe I'll show them off in a uh, bonus features video. Preferably on a much easier level. Well, I am, like, really out of everything. You know what? I'll just use a P-Wing. I am tired of this level. I've proven that I can get to the end of it. And... I really should have gotten that last hit on Ludwig. So, I'm just going to fly to the end. And this is generally how levels go when you have the P-Wing. You just fly up top and watch the level scroll by. It's not a whole lot to really talk about when you're doing this, but hey, you know what? I already talked about this level. This level is stupid long for an airship. Compared to, like, every single other airship. This one has got to be at least twice as long, if not three times as long as every other airship. Like, every other airship would be about to end, like, right here. Anyways, I'm just ready to be done with this stupid airship, be done with this stupid world, be done with Ludwig von Koopa's stupid hair. Ludwig von Koopa is the eldest Koopa. He enjoys classical music. And he actually creates Koopa symphonies, which are rumored to be terrible. Fun fact, before Bowser Jr.'s introduction into the series, Ludwig von Koopa was Bowser's second in command. Now he is his third in command. Not sure how that works out, other than being a retcon. Yay! I think this is the first castle I beat not small. It's Thor! And we get another letter from the princess. Hey, that's not from the princess. Yo! That's so uncharacteristic of Bowser to say yo. Yo! I kidnapped the princess while you were running around. She's here in my castle. If you dare to try and rescue her. Gwahahaha! King of the Koopas. Whatever. World 7, perfect clear. Suck it, World 7. Alright, now that we're back in familiar territory, it's time to get on with World 8. World 8 has only three normal levels. Everything else is special levels that in the NES game would never come back even if you had a game over, such as this tank. I am so overloaded with power-ups that I'm actually going to try some things that I don't normally do in a speedrun. Oh, screw you, dude. I 
hate these freaking mole dudes. At least I, at least they don't come back in uh, the tank levels. At least I don't think they do. Oh well. No big deal. Got my leaf back. Giant cannon. And welcome to World 8, where you had to fight a bunch of bosses, but they're all mostly just Boom Boom or Hammer Brothers. Die already, jeez, I should have never gotten hit by that. Only because I'm recording. Yeah, what the hell. We'll go ahead and save. Now I'm going to do something I don't normally do here, which is actually go through the boat the normal way. The easy way to go through this boat is to get underneath it and just swim. I believe that's a flower, yeah. And if you get underneath the boat and just swim, then you have nothing to worry about. I'm actually going to try to play through it normally. We see, we'll see how far I actually get with that attempt, though. I almost bit it right there. And I ran into him when I tried to jump. Excellent. Excellent. Eh, whatever. I think there was actually another one of those wrench dudes up top in the uh, original version. But I guess that's one of the things that was changed to make this version a little easier. A lot of things going on right now. That's... Yikes! That's uh, a lot of things going on. Bombs, bob bombs, big cannonballs, wrenches. Pretty active level. I think I'm pretty much at the end though now. And of course I get hit by the cannonball at the very end almost get killed by it. <sighs> Why can I not? Urgh. You know what? This time I'm going underneath. I proved that I can go through it normally. I feel I have done my part as a Let's Player. So now it is time for the quick and easy way out. <laughs> so here I go, swimming underneath. All I gotta do is keep pressing the A button and everything is all gravy. Isn't this so much fun, kids? One thing they did do to actually make this a little bit harder for speedruns to actually swim underneath the boat is the very end, in the NES version, it used to be notched, making it easy to jump out of the water. In this version, it's no longer notched, and you have to have pretty much a pixel-perfect jump to get out of the water. 
I'll show you what I mean when I get to the end of this boat. Yeah, this is an easy way to get through the boat with minimal effort. So yeah, that requires a pixel-perfect jump. There, that was what I meant to do the first time. Level cleared! Nice. Do I want to save? You bet I want to save. the princess. Alright. Now, this is actually a good area to use stars in. Because you see those five black squares? Three of those are actual levels, and you can possibly get through them without having to actually do them, but sometimes a hand might pull you down. I'll just go ahead and do this one. I probably should not have gotten that tail. And I definitely shouldn't have done that. Screw that guy, jeez. Just let me through. Yay, a leaf. There's three of these levels. They're pretty short, and they all reward you with an item. Um... Jeez. You know what, I'll just wing it. Oh, and there we go. The hand pulls you down, and you have to play the level. It's random. It can happen on any of the three tiles. This one, not too bad. Just take your time. Avoid the... Potaboos, or however that's pronounced. I think that's right, Potaboos. And you can get to the end pretty easily. And the last one is by far my least favorite. The cheap, cheap level. And I might actually die on this one. Because cheap cheeps come flying at you, it's stupid. They often get cheap deaths. And I hate cheap cheeps. And I actually made it through without dying. Isn't that a miracle? Awesome. That makes my day. And this is where I am going to end this episode. So, I will see you guys next time when we take on the dreaded fast ship. See you guys then.